So the X-ray beam has just been released and there's been a lot of questions. Uh, a lot of the questions I'm going to attempt to answer for you guys today. I'm going to do the best of my knowledge. I'm going to give you the best of my knowledge in regards to the X-ray beam pro answer any questions that I've been seeing on my Facebook comments. If you have any more questions that I don't get to answer in this video, just put it down in the comment section. The next video I'm going to do is going to be all about tips and tricks and things that I've discovered you can do with the Beam Pro. But starting with the first question that I've been getting a lot is, is it compatible with other XR devices, other AR devices? So for example, here I have the, which one is this? I have the Rainio XR glasses. It, it is a bit uh, complicated to answer this question because yes, it does work with the XR glasses because all you simply do is plug your glasses into this device and you're gonna get an image, you're gonna get a screen mirroring. If you want all those 3D effects, then you're gonna need to download Rainio's app onto this device, which would work in that when you download your radio app. But the, the way it's different is that when you connect the extra glasses to this extra beam, you get something, you get a Nebula OS which comes up. In the Nebula OS, you can, all, you can open almost every single Android app that you have on your phone. With the Nebula OS app, you can watch Netflix at its full resolution. You can watch at uh, its full mobile resolution. You can watch Prime, ESPN, you can play games. Uh, you can interact with almost any app on your phone on this device in the uh, 3D space, in the AR space, which the screen is affixed in one place. When you connect other glasses into this, you have to download a companion app. In that companion app, you're not gonna be able to run Netflix. You're not gonna be run, able to run ESPN. Uh, you're not gonna be able to run Prime. Those things will not work. You're gonna be able to open a web browser, but that's all you can do. And you're gonna be able to do screen mirroring, which once again, it's not the same as being able to anchor the screen in one place and you look around, you know. So yes, you can use other glasses with this, but you don't get the added benefits of being able to run Netflix, Prime, and things like that. The second question is, that I've got a lot is how do you connect to a PC? I've got this from multiple people. So the last time I spoke to an extra team member, they told me that upon release, upon shipment, there will be a new update that allows you to connect to the PC via Miracast. Miracast is a, it was a way Windows can be streamed onto other devices like a monitor. So Essentially, you'll be able to connect it wirelessly because on this Beam Pro, the port here is not, the second port is not meant for input. See, on the original Extra Beam, the second port, you could connect things like Nintendo Switch, uh, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, or your computer into this port. But with this one, it's only for charging, which is a, a little bit of a downgrade from the previous version, but there's so much more you can do. You know, it's the downside to it. So, the only way to connect to a computer will be through wireless display method. Right now, there isn't a Wi-Fi Direct or a Miracast option, but there are different options. What I've been using so far is a remote desktop connection through Google. There are different options you can use. You can use Moonlight. I have Moonlight up here. You can use any desk. Uh, there's just a bunch of different options. You can actually use Steam Link as well. But what I found to be the most reliable is the Google's Remote Desktop. And another big reason why I use Google's Remote Desktop opposed to all other methods is because for one, Google's a little bit more reliable on its security updates. I don't want nobody just looking through my computer. I can't really trust these other softwares, you know, fully. I can, prefer, I can probably trust Steam Link you know, to some extent. But another big reason for Google's remote desktop is because, so for example, with any desk or moonlight, if I want if I'm far away from my computer, right, and I wanna connect to it, I would have to be on the computer and authorize, which means that I can't just do that when I'm far away. 
I can't log into my computer from from this device you have to put in an authorization code or accept each time you want to do that. With Google's remote desktop link, it's on your Google account. So I can literally, from far away, I can literally remote connect to my computer, wake it up and log in to my computer from far away. This is something that I've done multiple times. I've actually left my computer at home. When I got to work, I was like, oh man, I really needed to transfer a file. So what I did was, I logged into my computer and I transferred that file into my Google Drive. So I just downloaded the file from my Google Drive up onto, onto this device right here. That is something that, as far as I know, you can only do with Google's remote desktop. Now, if there are other methods that I don't know about, it's simply because I don't know about it. I'm not trying to give you guys wrong information. It's just that Google's desktop has been the most reliable. And I love the fact that I can easily switch between windows or I can have all my windows all on one screen. Okay, the next question is, how do you connect Extra Beam Pro to play video games? It's the same thing I just mentioned. You can use Moonlight, you can use Steam Link. I've actually used Steam Link. I'm not a gamer, so but I, but I did use Steam Link to try, to try uh, a Call of Duty from, you know, way back and it works. Uh, you would want to have a good internet connection though because if you're playing, if you're remote playing over Wi-Fi, there's going to be some lag introduced if you don't have uh, a good enough Wi-Fi. So you want to have a solid Wi-Fi. Once again, there is Steam Link, there is Lunar, there is uh, Moonlight. There are options to play mobile gaming and there is also Xbox Cloud Gaming. Xbox Cloud Gaming seems to work the best so far. There is, it works phenomenal. You just connect your controller to this device right here and you can play a game remotely. So there is that option. The next question is, does it have SIM card or is it, you know, LTE capable? Something like that. So this particular one I have does not have a SIM card uh, capability, but there is going to be one shipping out later on this year uh, that should have a SIM card capability. According to x they're going to be shipping it out to mobile carriers. So you might be able to pick one up from like AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile and such like that. But for now, there is none available to us that, you, that has a SIM card. There is, however, expandable memory card on this. You can expand the memory card up until one terabyte. So that's pretty nice. I already have a memory card in this. I don't even know what memory card I have on it, but you can expand the memory card. Another thing you can also do is you can connect a flash drive into the back of this and use it to transfer uh, media content, which is pretty nice. Any idea if they are gonna keep updating the extra beam, the original one? I don't know, but I would hope so because this is right now kind of a different product than this. This allow me to connect to my computer wired. I can't do that with this. It doesn't have the physical port. So the hardware is not there. So I would hope they keep updating this, make it better for some, and some people don't want to upgrade to this. They don't want to spend $200. By the way, if you have this already, you can simply tell x that you have this and they should knock off about $50 off from this. I don't know how long that promotion lasts, but as far as I know, it's still going on. But if you don't want to buy it, you can still use this. And I would hope x keeps making this better because this thing really has some capability. Another interesting question that I found is, it says, so you have used the device. So to summarize that, the person is essentially asking, will this be able to play 3D games like the Vision Pro where you can actually interact with objects and things like that? So the first thing to know is this camera is capable of recording 3D objects, but that's just for spatial views like 3D videos, 3D pictures, and things like that. As far as being able to play 3D games and using your hands to interact, I don't think there is a way just yet. However, there is gonna be a way using the Extra Beam Ultra. The Extra Beam Ultra would allow you to interact with 3D contents. So you're gonna have six Dolph. Three Dolph is a three degrees of freedom. Essentially, you look, you know, side to side, up and down. Where with six Dolph, you can essentially go around the object. As far as my understanding, that's what six Dolph is. Now, how would they be able to implement that into a game? 
I don't know, but I think that they've done it before with the extra light. Uh, you know, back when it used to be called Unreal. Unreal, you know. So I think that there should be a way that they can do that. However, for now, as far as I know, there isn't such thing as being able to play 3D games and being able to do it on the Apple Vision Pro level. Even the Apple Vision, at the time I tried it, it's, it didn't really have much going on. There was a few things, but it really didn't have much. Is the Beam Pro Google certified? Some apps require the Google certified to be downloaded use. Yes, the Google, yes, the Beam Pro is Google certified, which means that any app that you can download on your regular Android app should be compatible with this phone if it's compatible with Android 14. Now keep in mind, some apps vary depending on uh, phones uh, or tablet. For example, some apps will run on my Samsung Fold, but they will not run on my Samsung tablet, and they're both Android. And some apps will run on my tablet, but they wouldn't run on my Samsung Fold, even though they're both Android devices. So you can expect the same, that most apps will run on this, but uh, you might have some apps that would not run you know, depending on compatibility issue. I don't know, sometimes it, it is just like that. So it's not gonna be a, a, a Beam Pro thing. So if you can't download an app, don't be like, oh man, Beam Pro it sucks because of this. No, it really does happen even with the best of the best. With my Samsung, there are some apps that I really can't download. Are you, it says, am I able to watch Netflix, YouTube while screen mirroring or is it only possible in Nebula app Android? Hmm. If I understand this question correctly, the person is asking if you are able to watch Netflix while screen mirroring, yes. Now, if you're asking if you can watch Netflix and YouTube in the Nebula OS while you do other stuff on like a side window, the answer is also yes. And I'm also going to overlay Netflix on one side and YouTube on the other. Now, because I'm overlaying Netflix, you're not gonna see the video in my screen recording because of DRM. So you're gonna see a blank Netflix canvas and you're gonna see YouTube running. So, and the great thing is you can also have like a remote desktop while you have YouTube or something else playing. So you can have multiple windows at the same time. That's literally my biggest thing with this. If it didn't have multiple windows, I probably would not have, well, I didn't buy this, so they gave it to me, but if I was to buy this and this didn't have multiple windows, I would absolutely not upgrade to this if I was purchasing because this can essentially do the same thing. The multiple window for me is what makes this so great. The ability to have Netflix in its full resolution on these glasses wasn't really that important to me because to be honest, I was already content with the quality that I was getting off of this. So that was never a big deal for me, but I always wanted to have multiple windows because sometimes I would be watching Netflix or I'm about to watch Netflix, but then I see something I was like, you know what, let me go on YouTube, watch a trailer real quick and see some comment section before I click on it. If I have this, I would have to exit the Netflix and open YouTube or get on my phone, open YouTube and then put the glasses back on. But with this, I can literally have Netflix on one side, have YouTube on the other, and quickly search for it real quick. I love that about this. Somebody asked, the biggest question is, does it or can it do special multi-window? Yes, it is my favorite thing about the Beam Pro. Like I'm overlaying on the screen, it does do multi-window and it absolutely is my favorite. Sucks that it doesn't have DisplayPort input Yes, it does suck. I would 100% agree it does suck. I like to work remotely and that would have been such a great feature. Can it download and install APK? Example, YouTube, Netflix, app. If not, what about watching YouTube using a web browser? You don't even need to install APK apps because you can just open the Play Store and install all these apps like Netflix and YouTube and they work perfectly fine even in multi-window, even in spatial mode. And on the web browser itself, you can also watch YouTube. You can watch Prime. I've done this multiple times on the web browser itself because 
these are the apps that are built into your phone already. It's just projecting it into your display. So it's not like uh, the original Beam. It's, it's just very different. Is there a screen protector option for the Beam Pro? Um, no. As far as I know, there isn't a screen protector. However, if you look at mine, you can see that I have a screen. It's probably going to be hard to see for you guys, but I do have a screen protector on this. What I did was I bought an old, I bought a screen protector from uh, Amazon. It's not meant for the Beam Pro, but it works. It fits well. I mean, it's not, it's not a perfect fit, but it does fit well. Uh, I'm going to link it in the description. I got off Amazon for like $4. It's pretty cheap. As far as cases go, there isn't any official case that, I, uh, that is available for the Beam Pro that I'm aware of. But as you already know, there's going to be somebody in China that's already making some for this. And sure enough, there are. And I bought one. Uh, I haven't received it yet. I bought it on AliExpress. So once I receive it, I'm going to be putting it on the back of this, you know, just to protect it. I'm also going to put a link in the description where you can get one if you want. Do you think this is better than the upcoming Roku Station 2? That's an interesting question. So it's hard for me to say if it's better than the Roku uh, Station 2 because I haven't tried it. So the Roku Station 2 is essentially Roku Lite. And I made a video about the Roku Lite uh, in the past. You can check that out. Um, from what I understand about the Roku Lite, it's a web-based device. Whenever you hear, no, it's a cloud-based device. Whenever you hear cloud-based device, what does that mean? It means that the things that are running off of it are in the cloud. So which means that at all times, you're gonna need internet connection. What I love so far about that Roku Lite is the fact that it has three multi-windows. But how does it work? I don't know exactly just yet. Because in some videos, I see Word, you know, Instagram and all these things open, but it seems to be open on the website. So my question is, is it capable of downloading any apps or does that mean I have it to be tethered to Wi-Fi at all times? Which, you know, it's not bad because everywhere I go, everywhere you go, there's essentially Wi-Fi, but most of the time they're not strong. And if you're on a plane, does that mean you have to pay for Wi-Fi just to be able to watch a movie? Like, I don't really understand that just yet. I'm hoping I can get my hands on one, you know, you know, sometime and actually do a review. But so far, the YouTubers that I've seen recorded, all they talked about is how excited they are about it. They don't really give in details. I don't know if it's something they can or cannot do, but it doesn't really tell me much. But one thing I can tell you, though, is they're probably not going to be able to play Netflix and Prime if they are cloud-based, unless they somehow are able to overcome the DRM issues. If they are, that will be incredible. It's really hard for me to say, but as far as I know of, this for me is the device to go with, especially if you have Xreal. I saw a question earlier, I don't remember uh, where it is now, but I saw a question, someone asking, can, can I have WhatsApp and Telegram on it. WhatsApp definitely runs on this. It runs perfectly fine. Uh, you can use any number. You can use your, your mobile number or whatever to get a confirmation code. But yes, WhatsApp does work on this. Google Voice does work on this. Google Meet does work on this. You can uh, video chat. It has a front camera. You can video chat and stuff like that right on this. Another important thing to know is that this once again, I keep saying that this is a full on Android device because I want you to understand that it is a full on Android device. What that means is that you don't, if you want to watch Netflix, you don't have to connect your glasses. If you want to watch Prime, you don't have to connect your glasses. You can simply open any of those apps. For example, I have Netflix here and You can simply uh, continue on the phone. So you don't have to um, put the glasses on just to watch something. You can simply do it right on this device right here. I'm just gonna keep calling the phone even though it's not a phone because that's exactly what it feels like. It feels like a phone with just two cameras. These cameras are pretty good as well, though the nighttime is not the best, but 
this is not a camera phone. It's just a device with that is capable of recording in 3D. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see a video of this Rainier's Pocket TV, it's supposed to be somewhat of a competition to the extra beam. Check out this video right here, or if it's not uploaded, it should be uploaded pretty soon. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.